Good morning, as you step outside today you might notice a gentle breeze and the soft glow of autumn sunlight, but don't get too comfortable just yet. The weather story across the country is about to take a dramatic turn, with conditions shifting faster than you might expect. After a stretch of mild, pleasant autumn days, perfect for strolls in the park or sipping coffee outdoors, a major pattern shift is on the way, and it's going to be noticeable. Powerful cold fronts are lining up, ready to sweep across the U.S. and end the lingering warmth. These systems are gathering strength, and their arrival will be felt from coast to coast. A developing low over Canada is set to unleash Arctic air southward, bringing a real shock to the system. This isn't just a minor cooldown, it's a true taste of winter for many. Expect a roller coaster of temperatures, one day mild, the next a blast of cold. You'll want to keep those heavier coats handy, as the weather will keep you guessing. This dynamic setup means more storms, rain, and even significant mountain snow. Some areas could see downpours, while higher elevations brace for the season's first real snow accumulation. The long-range trend points to a colder finish for October and a chilly start to November. Frosty mornings will become more common, and those beautiful autumn leaves will soon give way to bare branches. Multiple waves of cold air will reinforce the chill, especially in the central and eastern states. Each new front will bring another round of brisk winds and dropping temperatures. For fall lovers, crisp air is coming. For others, brace for a big change. The days of light sweaters are numbered and soon, scarves and gloves will be daily essentials. The mild chapter of fall is closing. Get ready for a much colder, more exciting stretch. Weather can change in an instant, so it's wise to stay prepared. Let's dive into the details of what's ahead. We'll break down the timing, the regions most affected, and what you can expect in your area. Change is in the air, literally. Stay tuned as we track this wild ride from mild to wild across the country. As this weekend begins, the weather still feels pleasant and inviting, with many of us eager to soak up the last of the mild temperatures. This is especially true along the East Coast, where the mornings start off with gentle breezes and golden sunlight, perfect for a walk by the water or a jog along the shore. A ridge of high pressure is firmly in place, pumping warm air northward and giving us one last mild weekend before a dramatic shift in the weather pattern arrives. But while we enjoy the warmth, a powerful low-pressure system is brewing in Canada, quietly setting the stage for a significant cooldown that will soon sweep across much of the country. Already, a developing cold front is pushing into the Midwest, bringing steady rain to farms and towns, and signaling the first signs of change. Meanwhile, a backdoor front is sliding down the east coast, bringing with it a hint of cooler air and a preview of what's to come, as clouds begin to thicken and breezes pick up. By Sunday, the low strengthens near the Great Lakes, creating a classic setup for Arctic air to surge southward, setting the stage for a sharp drop in temperatures. The contrast between the lingering warmth and the advancing cold will be dramatic. So take advantage of the calm before the storm, as the atmosphere prepares for a major shift. Out west, the pattern has already turned active, with a series of storms rolling through and mountain snow piling up, signaling that winter is knocking on the door. The jet stream is buckling in response, opening the door for a surge of Arctic air to pour into the central and eastern US, and setting up a dramatic weather story for the week ahead. This weekend may be your last real chance to enjoy outdoor plans, whether it's a hike, a bike ride, or a final picnic, before the real chill arrives and changes the landscape. The stage is set for a dramatic weather shift, with clouds gathering and the atmosphere growing more unsettled by the hour. Get ready for a wild ride next week as temperatures tumble, winds pick up, and the first real taste of winter sweeps in for many. The transition is about to begin, so enjoy the mild moments while they last because a new season is just around the corner. The work week brings the real action, as the weather takes center stage and sets the tone for the days ahead. After a relatively calm weekend, the atmosphere is about to shift dramatically, catching many off guard as they head out the door. Monday starts off on a mild note, with temperatures feeling comfortable for October. But by evening, a fast-moving cold front barrels down the east coast, bringing gusty winds and a sudden chill. Fall has truly arrived, and it's making a bold entrance. Behind this front, a deeper trough digs in across the eastern U.S., setting the stage for an even colder blast. The sky turns dramatic, and you can almost feel the anticipation in the air as temperatures begin to tumble. 
By Tuesday, the main event arrives. Arctic air plunges southward, sending temperatures well below average for this time of year. The wind bites, and the chill is unmistakable, reminding everyone that winter is not far off. A reinforcing low-pressure system over the Great Lakes sweeps in, bringing a second even stronger cooldown within just a couple of days. The winds whip across the lakes, making conditions feel even colder and more unsettled. By Wednesday, the core of the cold settles in. Lingering rain and a raw, damp feel stretch from the Great Lakes all the way to the northeast. Streets glisten with cold rain, and umbrellas become a daily necessity. The cold air mass is extensive and stubborn. Don't expect a quick warm-up. Frost coats the landscape, and heavy coats come out of storage as people brace for the chill. By Thursday and Friday, the coldest air slowly begins to lift out, but the atmosphere remains stubbornly chilly. It still feels much more like November than October, with frosty mornings and visible breath lingering in the air. This first major cold snap signals a fundamental pattern change for the region. The landscape transforms almost overnight, with green leaves giving way to bare branches and a new, brisk energy in the air. Lingering summer warmth is gone. Periodic cold waves are now the new normal. Outdoor pools close flowers wilt, and the cityscape takes on a distinctly late autumn feel. And this is just the beginning. More waves of cold are on the way. So get those coats ready, dig out the scarves and gloves, and prepare for a season that's turned the page. The march toward winter has officially begun. While the east cools down, the Pacific Northwest faces a different story relentless storms and heavy rain. A persistent offshore trough is funneling moisture into Washington, Oregon, and the Northern Rockies. Mountain snow is piling up fast, great for ski resorts and water supply. Some higher elevations could see one to two feet of snow, building a solid early season base. This active west coast pattern is actually fueling the cold in the east, thanks to the jet stream's ridge trough setup. The Northwest's stormy weather helps send Arctic air eastward, Another powerful low is forecast to hit the coast around October 26, bringing more rain, wind, and mountain snow. The wet wild fall continues for the Pacific Northwest. Prepare for an extended stretch of active stormy weather. Classic autumn in the Northwest is here. So, who's getting soaked? The Pacific Northwest, Midwest, and Great Lakes are the big winners for rainfall. Persistent storms will bring above-average rain and mountain snow to these regions. The Northwest faces a relentless wet pattern, while the Midwest and Great Lakes get bands of rain and storms. Meanwhile, the eastern seaboard and western plains will be drier, with cooler but sunnier days. The exact track of each system matters. A small shift can mean the difference between a downpour and just sprinkles. Stay tuned for updates as the storm paths become clearer. The active storm track runs from the Northwest through the Midwest and Great Lakes. Those are the regions to watch for the most significant precipitation. After the big cooldown, a brief midweek lull arrives as the coldest air lifts north and temperatures moderate slightly. The east remains cool, but the chill eases, just a short break before the next system. Meanwhile, the west stays active, with another powerful storm set to arrive by the weekend. This lull is the atmosphere reloading for its next act. Forecasters use this window to track how the next storm will evolve. The way the first trough exits will shape the next big event. Enjoy the brief break. Another major weathermaker is brewing in the Pacific. The quiet won't last long. The weekend of October 25th, 26th brings a major storm to the Northwest. Forecast models show a powerful low pressure system, with central pressure dropping to near 975 millibars, a sign of a very intense storm. Expect heavy rain, strong winds, and the risk of flooding in already saturated areas. The mountains will see feet of snow, creating dangerous travel but great news for ski resorts. This storm will reshape the weather map, carving a deep trough in the west and building a warm ridge over the plains. The clash of air masses sets the stage for the next big story. Severe weather potential in the heart of the country. The west gets a taste of winter, while the central US braces for storms. This is not your average autumn system. The energy from this storm will drive the next major weather event. Stay alert, big changes are coming. 
As the western storm moves into the central U.S. around October 27th, 29th, the setup turns volatile. A strong cold front collides with warm, moist air from the Gulf, creating prime conditions for severe storms. The plains, from Oklahoma to Minnesota, are in the bullseye for strong thunderstorms, hail, damaging winds, and even tornadoes. It's rare to see such a potent setup this late in October. Long-range forecasts are tricky, so timing and location may shift. This isn't a reason to panic, but a heads-up to stay weather-aware. The threat could last several days as the system moves east into the Mississippi Valley and Midwest. We'll be tracking this closely and bringing updates as the situation develops. Keep this on your radar. Severe weather is possible. Stay prepared and stay tuned. Looking ahead, we rely on two main weather models, the American GFS and the European ECMWF. Both agree on an active pattern with frequent cold fronts, but they differ on the details for late October and early November. The GFS is more aggressive, showing repeated cold snaps and a sustained chill for the central and eastern US. The European model suggests a brief return to warmth in the east as the west stays cool and stormy. The truth likely lies somewhere in between. What's certain, big changes are coming with a roller coaster of temperatures and stormy weather. Confidence is high for an active pattern, but the exact temperature swings are less certain. We'll keep watching the ensembles for clarity. Prepare for colder days, stay ready for storms, and know that the weather is about to get a lot more interesting. That's the national outlook. Now, here's your local forecast.